Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rakhi and today we are painting a little yellow bird. I think it's a finch. I'm not sure of the name. I downloaded the picture from Pixabay. We are going to use a permanent yellow white. Uh, sorry, a permanent yellow. And uh, for the tail and... Uh, For the tail and the dark highlights, uh, we are going to use uh, some yellow mixed in the paints gray. For the branches, I'm going to use um, some of the sap green. I'm going to give just a touch of permanent red in the sap green. So this is what we'll use and then we'll use, we'll mix it with the yellow also to get some light yellow. Uh, we'll use a six number brush for a two number brush and then we'll also use a zero number round brush for the details also we'll use a black liner for the details on the eyes so i have mixed a very light uh, yellow i've taken my six number brush and i'm going to give a very light wash all over the body of the bird I'm just going to take a damp brush and I'm going to soften these edges. Also what I'm going to do, I'm going to dab uh, some of the tissue paper over this area, over the cheek area. And I'm going to lift slowly some color from here. Just a little bit. I think this is enough for now. I'm going to leave these white marks. Um, they add some interest and some light uh, to, the, to the composition. And once this has completely dried, we'll come back and paint the wings. So while this is drying, we can paint uh, these all in... A green color and then later we will take a, a bit deeper green and then we will um, then we will paint them in negative so I am taking the same yellow and uh, just the the in middle middle or the center uh, stock I am just painting with that with yellow We are going to leave it like this uh, to dry and uh, we will try to paint the beak in between. So for the beak I have taken a very light uh, uh, reddish brown wash. I am just going to, before that I uh, am just erasing a little bit the outlines of the beak because I don't want too much pencil lines to show because this is a very light shade so I'm just going to give a light wash of reddish brown here and then we'll leave it to dry and then we'll come back and and do some more layers for detailing I have mixed another grey with um, um, permanent red and uh, viridian green. So we are going to use this grey on the on the tail of the bird. 
so I'm not going to use Payne's gray I'm going to use this gray put a very little water here I'm going to tap my brush on a tissue and I'm just going to spread the same water here a little bit and then I'm taking my gray mix which is uh, pretty dark and I'm going to just put a little here that's it and then I'm going to wash my brush I'm going to dab any extra pigment coming here and then I'm going to drop a little bit of very little bit of yellow here and what I'm going to do I'm going to lift some details here which look like wings also I'm going to lift some color from here so this is how each of the feathers is going to be we want this crisp white edge here as is so till this feather is completely dry we are not going to paint this or this one while this one dries we will try to attempt the same feather in the same way For here this part we are just we don't want to do that much definition we are just going to paint it as lines similarly for this side So we are done with the back feathers uh, we will come back later to this part and do a little bit more definition i'm going to paint this part now here um, this will be um, wet on dry so what i have done i have taken the same gray mix but i have thinned it down a little bit and i'm going to just paint just going to leave some white space in between just going to paint some impression of some rough feathers here so I'm just removing some of the hard edges and similarly for the right side also I'm painting a bit with uh, wet and dry and I have mixed a little bit of dark brown kind of uh, shade so with this I'm going to paint some details on the uh, beak so I have taken my zero number brush and then
So I've just painted some details here also with the same shade I'm going to paint some more details uh, near the eye while we are here we'll just complete <coughs> the eyes so i'm going to leave a little bit of white line here that's very important and also i'm going to leave some white area here and then i'm going to leave a bit of um, white eye here and before that I, before i attempt the eye if you see in the reference photo uh, we have some gray area and then we have to give some highlights with with black later so after leaving a very small white area there I'm going to just paint some gray here we will wait for it to dry and I'm going to use the same uh, very light mix of uh, red and I'm going to paint the feet with that Red. I'm also going to give some more detail here this is optional I just wanted to give a bit more pop here so it is perfectly fine if you don't want to paint this I just wanted some more definition I'm going to do the eye what I was talking about so What I'm going to do for the branches, I'm going to, in the same um, sap green, I'm going to mix. Um, I've taken my zero number brush and I'm going to mix some permanent red. And uh, I'm going to, for some of the petals, I'm going to give and underwash where we see that they are below so I'm going to speed it up so I think it has dried um, I'm just giving a quick background to this. This is going to be a very flat background. Um, I've just mixed uh, Viridian Green and Permanent Red.
so this is how it looks um i'm just going to remove the tape so i think our yellow bird is complete um let me know in comments um if you tried to paint it if you had any questions if you want me to paint some other birds of your choice or some birds where you are facing difficulty let me know and i think for today this is this is it um see you next time with another beautiful bird till then take care and bye bye